Hi guys, thanks so much for watching. Just a quick message to all of you guys who haven't heard yet, we are having a big Mapuai Squad giveaway. I'm flying you, yes, you, you, you out there, to the Philippines. For full contest details, be sure to read the description box. All right, and now to the vlog. Come on, guys. All right, guys, so now we're having dinner mm -hmm. here in San Juan at a special place. Some of you guys might remember from season one. And this place has a special place in my heart. Probably Lawrence's too. My boy squad, tonight we're taking you too. Hot box kitchen, that's right. We're eating Canadian food today. This is an actual Canadian restaurant. Hi there, what's your name? Sabrina. Sabrina? You are so cute, Sabrina. All right, let's take pictures. Because we're Filipino, we're taking pictures. Thank you, nice to meet you. There's Lawrence, my high school batchmate, visiting from Seattle, but he's actually from Toronto, Canada. Yes. There's RJ Garcia. Mm -hmm. And guys, the food in this restaurant is amazing. Oh, so good. Guys, Canadian food. Poutine, chili cheese fries. Mm -hmm. Candy, ba double smoked candy bacon. Mm. Burger, shepherd's pie. This is the stuff that I would like eat at my white friend's houses for dinner. Mmm, it was delicious. Guys, the poutine arrived. Time to eat. Of course, poutine, Canadian favorite. Fries, cheese, and gravy. Love it. Carp Central. Um. I went to Rizal Park. Um. And now we have some yam fries. Mm, sweet potato fries. Yes. Slightly healthier. Mm. And some trivia. Apparently, right? This is not a tuber. It's not a tuber. I so tricked on that in, in biology. Uh, it's paleo friendly and keto friendly. Mm -hmm. Sweet potato fries. Oh, the, it's like a curry dip. Try it. Oh. Mm. It's not a tuba. <laughs> mm, guys, so, so I love I, this If I go here. tomorrow evening, it'll be fine. Right? Because that'll cover my Sunday. Brussels sprouts. Right? Oh, oh, I used to love Brussels Where? sprouts at my friends' houses. My friends' parents used to cook it, and my friends hated it, but I loved it. It's basically like small cabbages. And here they cook it with like cheese. Oh, oh yeah. Did you eat cream. I used to love going to my neighborhood friend William's house, William Rollison. And his mom used to make this. Oh, Yum. Mm. It's like sweet without other cream. Mm. And so like that cabbage taste without salt and juice. So Lawrence spent the whole day, in case you didn't see yesterday's vlog, he spent the whole day by himself wandering Manila. Yeah. You saw a lot of places. Uh huh. And you traveled by yourself, took public transit. Lawrence, would you say that Manila is safe? I felt I felt really safe. You know, like one of my friends was like warning me about like putting my bag in front of me because I was gonna slash or get my like pocket pick. Especially in like really crowded places in like the Missouri, but like I I don't know I I, I felt I felt safe. And, I mean, at one point I did put my bag in front of me because it was crowded, and I saw a lot of people were doing that too. Like a lot of what looked like locals were doing that too. So I guess that's a safe thing to do. But like really, if somebody's gonna pick my pocket, I don't know where they're gonna go. I'm just like stuck in a big crush of people. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. Like spoken like a true traveler. So I'll see you guys. Manila is safe. I do hear a lot of like people saying, oh, I'm afraid to come to Manila. I'm hearing so many stories of like people getting robbed and held up. I've never had that done to me. Never. Mmm, guys. Cheesy pasta. <gasps> no, I'm not allowed to have pasta. But I want to taste this. And what is this? These are dill pickle spears. Dill pickle? Mmm. 
Oh my! And it's dipped in like a paprika, something mayo. Oh, mm. guys. Canadian food. Dill pickle fries. Mm. Oh my. Mm. Mm. I love dill. Dill is such an interesting herb. Well, guys, let's try the pasta. Ooh, and that dill was spicy. Let's try the pasta. Mm. I just love cheese. Whoever invented cheese did his or her homework. Look at this delicious pork chop mm. with green beans. <gasps> oh. I can't wait. Maple glazed. Look at that. Fat and meat. Mmm. Mmm. It smells so good. Mmm. 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 Chicken waffles. Mmm. 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 Guys, look at Lawrence's chicken and waffles. Mmm. That looks yummy. Of course, gotta have my veggies. Green beans. Guys, bangers and mash. They make their own sausage here, and then it's mixed with mashed potato. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. OMG, this sausage looks so good. I'm gonna mix it with some mashed potato and gravy. Let's try it. Mm. Mm. That sausage tastes so pure. Wow, wow. So good. Guys, I'd like you to meet the owner of the restaurant and hello. back there cooking. This is Evan. <laughs> hello, or, hello. Originally from Calgary. Yes, from Calgary. Now living in Manila. Now moved to Manila. All right. How are you liking life in the Philippines? Oh, I don't miss winter at all. <laughs> Plus 30 is better than minus 30. <laughs> Correct. The food is delicious here. Thank you so much. You're welcome. My honors. Guys, this smells so good. This is dessert. It's called deep fried Oreo. <laughs> Apparently, this is a favorite in Calgary. RJ, when are we going back to Canada? Canada, I think next summer. Ooh, that's sooner than I thought. I can't wait to see you Canadians. See you guys in the summer. I kind of don't want to go there while it's still winter. My dad might make me shovel snow again. Bad memories. Guys, let's try this deep fried Oreo. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. Trying to understand this. Oh, it is so good. That's almost as good as cheesecake. Mm. It's like hot, soft, scrumptious, that familiar brown taste of the Oreo and that marshmallow part. Mm. Exploding in your mouth. Guys, what's the end? Don't be shy. Oh, oh my god. Oh, it's okay. They came to us for a picture. What's your name? It's okay. What's your name? What's your name? I'm Sophie. Oh, Sophie. What, Sophie? Oh, uh, this is Sophie's family. Hi there. Hello. <laughs> Sophie, it's Sophie. okay. Come, can I get a hug? Oh. Oh, it's pleasure meeting you. Yes. You're so cute. Oh, I, I like your headband. <laughs> Very nice meeting you. Okay, and because we're Filipino, we're taking pictures. <laughs> Alright, thank you.
All right, going for our walk now, and joining us is Lawrence. Yes. Sunny day. Very sunny day. And in fact, he wants to go walk in the shade. <laughs> you can walk in the shade. I'll get, me and the guy will absorb some sun. I don't really burn that easy in the sun. Lawrence, do you? Yeah, I've, I've had a couple of bad burns this year already. Oh, where? Uh, once in Phoenix and once in Langkawi in Malaysia. Oh, where's your favorite place to travel, Lawrence? Mm, I don't know, so many great places. Your favorite? Well, I just tend to go to Hong Kong because not only, not even just for Hong Kong itself, but like yep. from Hong Kong, you just go, you can go anywhere. Right. Asia, it's so easy. And I mean, it's your DNA. <laughs> yeah. Just like Manila is my DNA. Yeah, I suppose so. Yeah. Cool. By the way, guys, if you're just tuning in, this is Lawrence Lam, my high school batchmate and really best friend in high school. He's visiting from Seattle. He moved to Seattle from Toronto. What year was that? Uh, I moved to Seattle in 2006. Oh. Awesome. So he's also a Canadian expat. Yep. Just like you. Yeah. So Lawrence, yep. speaking of like being an expat and all of that, are you liking living in US? Yeah. I think I've, you know, kind of found my groove. Yeah. Yeah. But do, but do you feel like you're losing your Canadian identity? Mm. <laughs> or do you still feel like a tourist? I mean, I still pe tell people I'm from Canada. Even here, when people ask me like, "Where are you from?" I say I'm from Canada. Mm. Um, and then they ask me how things are in Toronto, and I just kind of play along because I do go back, you know, a few times a year. And Seattle is very close to Vancouver. Uh, I see. So I, so, you know, sometimes when I feel like I might be losing my Canadian identity, I <laughs> you could go back. Get some Tim Hortons. Correct. And, which there are a bunch of here, actually. Yes, that's right. So that, we mm -hmm. can talk about that. Tim Hortons has opened up in the Philippines. So, like, what have you learned about yourself by moving out of your birth bubble, uh, which is Canada? Well, well, even when I went to school, I moved away from home and just like find out like all the things I need to do to be independent, mm -hmm. right? And then... Um, but moving out of a country is different from, say, just moving to another place in a city. I think the nice thing about Seattle is that it was very similar. Um, oh, to Toronto. To, to Canada, yeah. I mean, people spoke English the same way, like they had the Correct, same Correct, right, right. Um, you know, just kind of infrastructure, it's kind of what you'd expect, so there's not a whole lot of culture shock. Mm -hmm. There's like certain words that I had to stop using like or, or there's like a Celsius and Fahrenheit which oh, sure. I won't. Inches. I still, don't I still don't understand Fahrenheit. Metric. Yeah metric system rules. So do you recommend for people to move away at some point in their life even if temporarily? I think so. I think that there's so much of the world to discover. And it's um, It's just good to know what you know Get, get a better understanding of how diverse the world is. I totally, totally even, agree. Even though Seattle is, you know, very similar. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Seattle, I mean, West Coast and East Coast, there's kind of different mentality yeah, sure. already. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, look at that lizard. Hey. Sorry, I I was too late. It was a skink. It was a little like This dog has skink. a puffy tail. Where? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Showing these guys the new parody, yes. Um, Nash Parody, and he was in it. Sikat ka na, kuya. Yes. Very good, yes. These guys are drivers. Tricycle drivers, look it out, look at their amazing tricycles. Mm -hmm. Love traveling by tricycle. Hey Gaia, you wanna be in a parody one day? Hmm? On the Mikey Bustos videos channel? I think so, maybe I'll write a song about you, huh? <laughs> hey guys, having her morning drink, it feels so, so good to see her doing, nourishing herself on her own, mm-hmm. So, we've created a bit of gruel in that bowl. She was eating it already, but she was wanting this water. From my boy squad, I received the most saddest, saddest news. It broke my heart. This was such terrible news to wake up to. It's regarding 
Tomoko High School home. 